in the standard xy coordinate plane, what are the coordinates of the midpoint, the midpoint here, of a line segment whose endpoints are negative 3, uh, comma 0, and negative, or 7, comma 4? So this is actually a very simple uh, question to answer if you know uh, the proper technique. So I'm going to go through it the long way first, and it'll actually become obvious why this technique is the correct technique and why this is simple to answer. So let's go ahead and draw first a coordinate plane. So here is a coordinate plane. This is what they mean. We have an x-axis and a y-axis. And let's draw out these two points they're referring to. So if we count on the x-axis to negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, this is the point negative 3. If we count on the y-axis, well here y is equal to 0. That's this point in orange, negative 3, comma 0. And there's a second point, 7, comma 4. So let's count uh, in the other direction. Uh, on the x-axis, it's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the point 7 here. And on the y-axis, it's at 1, 2, 3, 4. That's this point 4 right here. And that's where this uh, second point is referring to. And then they're talking about a line segment between them. So that's a pretty simple thing. That's just the if you were to draw a straight line between these two points, that's the line segment between them. And then they're asking for the midpoint. And we don't know exactly where the midpoint is looking for, but what it means is the middle. So what point is right in the middle of this line such that half of the line is on this side and half of the line is on this side? And the trick to solving a problem like this is to realize that the midpoint overall is also the midpoint on the x-axis and the midpoint on the y-axis. That is, the distance between negative 3 and the midpoint here is a half of the total distance, and the distance between this and 7 is a half, and the same thing on the y-axis. So now let's ask ourselves, how can we find these points? Well, it turns out it's really quite simple. All we do is we add together 7 and negative 3, so 7 plus negative 3, and right now we're trying to find the x coordinate, so this is going to be the x coordinate, 7 plus negative 3 divided by 2. This is the average of these two points, it's the midpoint. So this is exactly the same as saying 7 minus 3 divided by 2, which is exactly the same as saying 4 divided by 2, which is the same as saying 2. And so this point right here, this little red point that I was referring to, we now know is exactly, I drew it kind of wrong, it should actually be at 2 here. So 2 is the midpoint on the x-axis. What about on the y-axis? Well, it's the exact same uh, fairly simple calculation here. We take the 0, so this is for y, we want 0 plus 4 divided by 2. This is going to be in the middle of those two. And that's equal to 4 divided by 2, which is also equal to 2. So this point right here that I drew a little, a little off should be exactly down here, should be at the point 2. And if we go over to 2, 2, this is the true midpoint. If I had actually drawn that line exactly correctly, that's where the midpoint would lie if this whole graph was exactly right. And that is the answer A at 2, comma 2.